What up guys, I'm Sito from Stencil Stop. Today we are gonna show you how to stencil when you're working with an uneven surface. Obviously we have our stencils, gloves to kind of hold down some of the questionable areas, which I'll show you how to do. Tape, or you can use this adhesive spray to hold your stencils up against the wall. Paint, obviously. I'm gonna use a pencil just to line up my edges of my stencils. And I got a ventilator mask. So this is the spot on the wall that we're working with. First thing you kind of want to do is just make sure there's not any dust or debris on the surface that you're going to be painting. So I'm just going to make some marks on the wall. I'm working with, with three stencils that I have to align over each other to create this image, what we call layered stencils. I'm just going to go ahead and make some marks that looks pretty even, pretty much where I want to have it. In terms of putting your stencil up against the wall, you can use an adhesive spray. They come in little cans like this, and usually they're temporary. Sometimes I've found that they leave a little bit of residue. Use those if you want to. I would say do your own experimentation, or you can just use painter's tape. So the key element of this, now that it's on our uneven surface, is to hold down the edges of the stencil when we're painting the areas that are kind of popping up. So as you can see, this is not flat. You can see that there's a little bit of space between the edges here. And what we like to do when we're using a stencil is to keep it as flush against the surface of what we're painting as possible. The paint is gonna hit some of the outsides of this. We're not gonna cover that. We're not gonna worry about that today. You can mask that off if you don't wanna get paint on your walls. The most important thing when you're painting is that you're gonna to wanna to paint from the edge, the outside of the stencil design towards the center. We don't want to bring our paint underneath because we want to keep a tight, clean edge and not get any overspray under this design. We want it to go this way. As we go around, I like to wear gloves. The reason for that is because I'm going to hold down the edges of the stencil. And as I'm painting, I'm just going to work my way along with my hand. You don't need to wear a glove if you don't want to. You can get paint all over your hand. You can use a stick or any kind of object, really, that you want to use. Just going from the outside into the center of this design. Trying to hold down all these parts that are sticking up. And when I'm painting, I like to be about, I don't know, what is this? A foot, 10 inches away from the surface of what I'm painting. You don't really want to be spraying and, and seeing any drips with your, with your paint. You want it to be kind of like a light dusting like this. And that way it dries faster too. So we're just gonna peel it like that. So now I'm gonna use a heat gun to just dry this off for a minute or two in between layers. You can let it dry naturally. You can use a blow dryer. It's on a tripod because I use it for canvases. And so rather than having to hold it every time, I will just turn it on and then let it hit the canvas while I'm doing something else, grabbing my other color of paint. We're just gonna use it right now with the tripod and see how long it takes to dry. So this is the second of our three layer stencil. We're just gonna put this right on the wall, right along with the guides that we created before. This is the third and final layer that I'm going to be placing on the wall to complete our design here. And again, the way that you're gonna get the best result here is to not do like a consistent spray. You want to spray gently as if you're dusting the stencil. You're barely getting any paint onto here. We don't want to see any wetness, any dripping, anything like that. We want just a very light, very gentle amount of paint to get onto here. Every area should only need one, maybe two shots of the can. And that's kind of what we're shooting for. I 
As you can see, this area right here is probably the area of the design that came out the dirtiest, I would say, due to the, the level of detail in that last stencil paired with the kind of level of unevenness with that particular part of the wall. A couple ways to handle that in terms of fixing it for your projects. One, you can take your spray paint, shoot it into like a cap or maybe onto a, a piece of cardboard, use a fine paintbrush, and just go and, and replace that detail that you would want to have in there. And a, a stencil alternative that you could use, Stencil Stop also offers adhesive stencils. They're one-time use, but they will stick down against all areas of the surface and kind of contour a little bit better against all these different uneven areas of a wall or whatever surface that you're painting on.